love having a live band. That, this is going to be a habit. I'm going to have to get one of these at home. Sorry, honey. Uh, <laughs> all right. So next up, I, I did promise several of you that there would be demos. So let's see. Let's see if we can pull off a few demos. The, the f- next speaker has traveled all the way here from the Czech Republic. And they're doing something really interesting. I mentioned how cities are getting smarter, creating lots of data. So they're putting this into action in the Czech Republic in a city called Pisik. They're actually wiring up street lamps with Raspberry Pis and all kinds of connectivity back to an OpenStack powered cloud to make the city smarter and more efficient. So before I steal any more of his thunder, I want to welcome out CTO of TCP Cloud, Jacob Pavlik. <laughs> It's so huge. Uh, I didn't expect it, that it will be so huge. So good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm excited to be here today. Uh, I'm excited to share our journey of the project Smart City to create real IoT platform. But this is not the best part. I'm going to show you the real IoT right here in the conference center. But before that, let's talk more about the project. Uh, the, we started about six months ago, where we sit together with me and my colleague Adam, and we realized that we can use our technologies, what we are using daily for the private cloud solution, extended them, and create unique IoT platform, which will be basement for the smart city project. In cooperation with our partners, Protronics, the company who manufacture and develop the sensors, industrial sensors, and uh, MicroRisk, the company who is responsible for the Wi-Fi wireless connection, uh, the, the network called IQRF, we put together for the small city in Czech Republic as a pilot project called PSEC. I think that the benefits from the smart city projects are pretty clear and you can read it everywhere. We are able to do many things, like collecting information from the car parking, uh, counting the people, passing the pedestrians, passing the cars, calling metrics from the temperature, uh, humidity. Then we are able to provide the marketing strategies, the e-commerce stuff, and much more. But this is not the important. I think that the most important is the IoT platform. The platform which can be used not only for the, uh, for the smart city, but it can be used for any industry uh, where you need to collect data, but not only collect data, but also manage. And therefore, we put together following high-level architecture. At the first, we have a sensors. We have, we, you have a different sensors for the temperature, for the uh, humidity, CO2, the Doppler radars for the, for the counting people passing the cars. And all these sensors are connected through the unique IQRF full mesh wireless network where the, communica- when the sensors communicate between themselves. Then we are taking this information into IOT gateways. The IOT gateway can be standard Intel-based platform or the small Raspberry Pi. These IOT gateways are connected through the different connections to the internet, through the LTE, GSM, Wi-Fi, and from the internet, they go into our data center, which is based on the OpenStack cloud, where we have virtual machines for the data processing, analyzing the visualization, big data, Hadoop, and stuff like that. If you look at this picture, you can see that this is not something unique. And therefore, we got the idea that we can extend this platform and put there the Kubernetes to be able to start different services and microservices and orchestrate them in the IoT gateways directly in the city or in the any remote location. But 
we have to fix one more thing. We have to fix the network. How to connect these platforms together and provide multi-tenancy and segmentation. And for this, we decided to use the open source, open contrail, software-defined networking, which enable us to connect each Docker container service with the specific virtual machine and collect the data. The last step is a visualization and API access. And because we are, don't like the, the slideware, we decided that we can bring it together right here in front of you and show you that it really exists and it's really cool stuff. So we take the conference plan and we put there about 20 environmental sensors for the humidity, CO2, and temperature. And then we took one small Raspberry Pi box, which is over here, over this wall, which communicates through the wireless IQRF network behind all these walls in the conference and started remotely through the Kubernetes one Docker container, which collects data from this information and send them to our data center, which is located in the Czech Republic in the Prague. So we have a Raspberry Pi here, and we are, creating, we are creating overlay tunnels to Czech Republic in the Europe. So in the total, we have about 20 sensors right here. Then we have 20 IQRF mesh routers to create one single IQRF mesh network. So in total is the 43 devices on three floors. And now to show you how it looks, we can jump on the live demo and live page where I will show you how it looks. So we prepared this site for you right here. I can try to refresh the screen to, to believe me. So it's austin.tcpcloud.eu where we visualized all these floors and put the sensors in each conference room and show you the data from the humidity, temperature, and CO2. And I think that the most, most interesting for you is CO2, where you can see the values in each room right here. And this graph show you the historic information from yesterday because we are, calling, uh, we are co uh, collecting data from uh, Monday, you can see where Keynote started, when Keynote finished, and when was the launch. Yeah. <laughs> and this is not everything. We decided that we can provide some geek, uh, geek things, and we expose it, the public API, for you where you can try to pull the data and use them and create some fancy application on top of this data. So you can try it austin.tcpcloud.eu. So it's awesome, right? Yeah. So you can see that the IoT is not about proprietary technology or so on about some specific vendor solutions, but it's about the power of the open source, the power of the community, that you can choose different pieces of the open source project and make them work. I would like to thank you to all my team who helped me to create all this amazing stuff. We work on this more than 20 days, and uh, I am glad that you like it. If you have any question, please ask me. I have a couple more, quest uh, couple more sessions. So thank you very much. Thank you.